In today's video, we will be taking a look to see what the 1070 Ti can do in 2024. So this graphics card is an 8 year old card now, released in 2016, and I think for 1080p this is actually more than good enough still. Anywhere from like medium to high settings should be okay, and maybe one or two games you might have to turn down to low. But Overall, I think this will be a very nice graphics card, even even in 2024, for 1080p games. Now I got this as part of a deal where I brought the whole PC for £150, and this is the actual graphics card, which is the Palette version, it's the Palette Jetstream one, GTX 1070 Ti. And it's got quite a nice little backplate here as well. This is actually a really beefy card. And look at look at that cooler, guys. I don't know if it's going to come up in the camera there. Like this is, is like bulky. Like this is like um, almost like those 40 series type cars. Well, not quite to that degree, but you know this is a bulky little card. And um, yeah, I think uh, I think this should should perform well. Um, so our test system that we have today is a Ryzen 5 2600 with 16 gigabytes of RAM, clocked at 3200 megahertz, and that's a 2 by 8 gigabyte kit as well. So the games we'll be benchmarking today are Fortnite, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Cyberpunk 2077, and yeah, we'll go there, Starfield. <laughs> yeah, the Starfield's going to be the, the struggle here, but I think all the other games will be absolutely fine. So without further ado, let's roll those benchmarks. So our first game up for the 1070 Ti is Fortnite, 1080p full screen, unlimited frame rate, and we are put the quality preset to low and those are all the settings so here we go we've landed let's start the benchmarking and we're sitting around about 200 frames a second there so pretty pretty decent here from the 1070 ti this is 1080p low uh, i don't know where i'm going so it is dropping here and there i mean we have got 16 on the um 0.1 percent low oh hello and there we go, um, and a 1% low of 40, so we are getting those drops there, and we're going to get attacked, so we've got to get out of here. And it's about 160 odd there, so over our 144 hertz, sort of uh, what we're looking for. Um, 61 degrees on the uh, GPU, and about 50 or so percent utilisation, which isn't great, but... Maybe our CPU is holding us back a tiny bit, but it shouldn't be too bad. We are using the... Ryzen 5 2600 with 16 gigabytes of DDR4 3200 megahertz. So yeah, overall, yeah, that is it's looking pretty good with Fortnite. I have to say, the 1080p low is looking quite good. Um, we could probably go up to medium here. Um, if we've got enough room, yeah, I think we'll just quickly go up to medium. Uh, hopefully, we stay alive for that time. Uh, quality preset, medium, apply. So about 120 odd there for the frames per second. So 1080p medium looking good as well. Um, certainly playable. If you did want that uh, 144 hertz experience, obviously you would have to go 1080p low with the 1070 Ti. But this is a good performance from an older graphics card. I mean, you've got to remember this is an eight-year-old graphics card now. So this is a good showing so far. There are some drops here and there, but this could be to do with lag or our system. I think the graphics card is certainly holding up fine. And generally the frame time graph is quite good and it's quite steady. So that's also a good sign as well. Our utilisation in our GPU is just starting to come up a little bit. So that's that's a good sign as well. Getting towards the 90s now. So that's, that's good. Uh, the temperatures are sitting really good. Around about 60 or so degrees centigrade or degrees uh, Celsius on the um, GPU. So that's great. Obviously our... Uh, Ryzen 5 2600 isn't being pushed here, so that's only about 50 degrees. We do have the 0.1% and the 1% low, very, very big drops here, as you can see there. Four at four frames per second and three frames per second is, is very poor. Now, where did that other guy go? Can we get him? No. Nope. Oh, we got him. Ha! <laughs> we did get him. How did he not get us? Jeez. Craziness. Our system's also pretty quiet as well, so that's obviously a bonus as well. It's got a massive, massive heat sink, heat sink on the uh, GPU, so we should all be good there. And, and the temperatures are looking fine, so I'm happy with everything so far. 
Oh, another one. So that was Fortnite, 1080p, uh, low and then medium. So both are perfectly fine. Could even maybe go up to high, but I probably would just say 1080p medium for the 1070 Ti. And Shadow of the Tomb Raider now, 1080p full screen, and our graphics preset is set to medium. We will also try high afterwards, but let's go for medium now. And those are all the settings. So 1080p medium here, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, and we're sitting about 113, 114 FPS there. So that's pretty good, 99% usage on our GPU, which is also great. 63 degrees uh, Celsius, so that's obviously good as well. Um, yeah, and the frame time is really, really steady as well. The frame time graph is really steady, so that's really good showing. Um, over 100 FPS on 1080p medium. So I think we will probably try 1080p high as well, but we'll see what the 1080p medium results are in a bit. So 1080p medium Shadow of the Tomb Raider was an average of 111, a minimum of 84, and a maximum of 181. So let's try 1080p high now. So 1080p high now, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, and we're sitting around about 110 FPS again. So hasn't really gone down much from where it was before. 99% usage on our GPU again, and we're sitting about 60 degrees centigrade there. Or Celsius. I'm still not sure which one it is. I think it's Celsius, isn't it? Yeah, that's the, that's the new one. Anyway, the frame time looking really good there as well. And yeah, so looks like 1080p high is good as well. So let's see what those results are. So 1080p high, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, an average of 108, a minimum of 81, and a maximum of 176. So 1080p high, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, easily playable in the 1070 Ti. So here we go, Cyberpunk 2077, and we have 1080p full screen, graphics preset, we'll, we'll put it to medium I think, and then we'll just see what that can do. So here we go, Cyberpunk 2077, 1080p medium, and we're sitting about 75 FPS there, so pretty decent, our frame time is looking pretty steady as well. About 98% usage on our GPU, so that's great, and only about 63 degrees Celsius on our... Uh, GPU so looking pretty good let's uh, let's see what the scores are here and then let's have a go at 1080p higher hey guys so 1080p medium an average of 84 a minimum of 66 and a maximum of 104 so easily above our 60 FPS playable uh, experience there so let's change the settings and let's go up to high so 1080p high here Cyberpunk 2077 and it's 60 FPS what we have so that's really really impressive actually from an eight-year-old graphics card to be getting 1080p high 60 FPS round about that that's really quite impressive in my book and this is a strong graphics card still even in 2024 I think if you are looking at budget PCs and certainly flipping budget PCs I do think the 1070 Ti is a great shell and it's also quite a rare card to see on the market nowadays, so there's also that factor as well. So 1080p high, an average of 71, a minimum of 57, and, and a maximum of 88. So we have dropped a little bit below the 60 FPS there on our minimum, but the average is still higher than 60 FPS that we're looking for. So more than a pass, I think, uh, for 1080p high on Cyberpunk 2077 with the 1070 Ti. Starfield and let's have a look at the settings So we're at 1080p medium here, so let's try medium and see what happens So sitting obviously below our 60 FPS that we're looking for at about 45 FPS So not great, but again, this is Starfield. This, this is what happens with it. We are probably a little bit CPU bottlenecked here with the Ryzen 5 2600 but potentially if you had a little bit bit uh, stronger CPU you might be able to get a little bit more frame rate on, the, on the, in this game as well we are locked at 99% usage on the GPU so we we are you know stressing out our graphics card as much as we can but again this is really more the game rather than anything as you could as you could see cyberpunk was doing really really well I didn't even know you could do that I just I just uh, realized that you could switch to third person <laughs> In Starfield, I didn't even know that. Oh well. <laughs> anyway, learn something new. 
So, um, yeah, about 50, well, getting towards 45, I'd say, actually, for the FPS there. But let's uh, stop the benchmarking, and then let's go into our display test settings. Graphics preset is set to high. We do have the FSR free on here as well, just so you know. So let's uh, bring that up and then start the benchmarking again. So we have dropped quite a lot here into, into the 30s here. But if you did want a 30 FPS experience at 1080p high, you could do it with a 1070 Ti. So it is possible. I think for most people, I mean, they could you could turn it down to low as well, but um, I think for most people, they just stick at medium. That, that's about 45, so that'd probably be enough, really. Um, there is a few too many drops here below the 30 FPS as well. As you can see, about 26 or so on the 0.1% low there, and 1% low of 27, so... Again, again, this is Starfield, which is not particularly um, great on systems anyway, especially on older hardware. It's not, it's not good at all. But anyway, I think that's kind of uh, that kind of will wrap it up for the 1070 Ti. Um, a legendary graphics card. Not many of them are sort of so available now. I mean, I didn't even know about the 1070 Ti until about six months ago or so. So to actually come across one is actually quite amazing. I'm quite happy about that. Because uh, I only thought there was the 1070. I didn't even realise there was a 1070 Ti. Uh, but yeah, so, you know, nice looking back on a legendary graphics card. And I hope you liked this video, so please leave a like if you did. Please comment on what you uh, thought of this video and um, your experiences. If you did have a 10 series GPU or the if you did have the 1070 Ti, let me know. And please subscribe so you can see my future videos. And as always, guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.